Okay, we got a very large box in the mail the other day, and this one is um, a cat power tower, which is a cat tree. I'm so excited about it. It's our first cat tree that we've ever received to review, um, and I'm going to open up the box and kind of show you. It's, it's all in pieces. We're going to have to put it together, and it's my understanding it takes about an hour to put it together, according to Andy who is the creator of Cat Power Tower. Um, so without further ado. Okay, so it's it's really heavy, but that's a good thing because I think that means it'll be sturdy. Looks like it's really well packaged. Um, it, and I like to show this kind of stuff just in case, you know, if you're buying it or thinking about buying it, you want to see how it arrives at your house. Um, and that's the point of these arrival videos is just to see how they come. So. That shows that. I was wondering when you were gonna show up. This cat has no idea how exciting this is. He is going to love this thing. Um, the, the cat power tower is really a different cat tree. Um, I've been asking Andy to send us one for review for a while um, because I think it's so freaking cool and the um like the sisal scratching post there and then it's got the little um can't even think of the name of it like hide and go seek type thing and it's really well made andy actually sent me a youtube video of how to put it together just so you know i didn't screw it up or whatever and it's cool how he has it like these interlock to the next one um so it, it really is well put together. This is the natural finish. Hey, you should not eat adhesive. Oh, you're gonna bite that one? Chiggy, how are you gonna bite that one? So I'm gonna get all these pieces and parts out and then lay it all out and show you what's all involved. Um, but it is really well packaged. Hey, think Chigga do. Oh, whoa, whoa. Chiggy, you have no idea, but you're gonna love the cat power tower because Chiggers like cat power towers. Oh, you do, Chigga? Chigga, 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 Chigga. Okay, so here are all the pieces and parts that we are going to put together. And um, you'll see that there's a switch here on that scratching post. And I think there's a switch on this one too because it um, there's that as well. So it is... It has some power things to it. And then um, inside the, this was a closed box. Um, it gives you all the pieces and parts. And then um, their little feather toys and stuff like that. Get Charlie to stop dealing with adhesive. I know, bub. Man, if only cat toys came with adhesive, that'd be great. So this is all the bolts and stuff like that. Um, that might be a power adapter. We think, we think. Oh, I love adhesive. Yep, power adapter. Chiggy's already going after the carpet. Um, speaking of carpet on carpet on cat trees, I'm not a big fan of it just because um, if they know that they can scratch on carpet, then they um, doesn't matter where the carpet is, they'll scratch on it anywhere. So um, that's the danger of having it on carpet. I much prefer sisal, which is what Trig is on now, um, or cardboard. So I think what I'm gonna do is go and get Andy's, I'm gonna get my laptop and then just follow Andy's video on YouTube to put this together. Um, but laying it all out obviously always helps. That's how my dad put together you know, when we got toys for um, Christmas and stuff like that. So uh, then you also know that you got all the parts that you need in order to put it together. And as my dad says, always read the instructions first. Okay, we are a good portion through the setup process. And I just wanted to show you how neat this is. So um, it's got the pegs right here, and then these pegs are gonna flip over and fit into um, those holes right there. This is how well it's made. Um, and Andy must be an engineer or something of that sort um, because it is so, this is really hard to do one-handed. Um, 
so well put together, well thought out that, um, it really has to be an engineer, but that's how well it's put together. And then, um, this is upside down right now with my laptop on it, but this is the carpeted piece. So you can obviously replace this, um, and then keep the original if you need to. So again, so, so well thought out. So I'm going to continue putting it together, but that's where we are so far. This piece, which is the, um, I don't know what this thing is yet, but I want to call it a trap door. Although you can't access it underneath, so I don't know why I'm calling it a trap door. Nonetheless, um, that piece is really heavy. So that's something to keep in mind if you're getting this as a gift and, um, you know, there's only one person in the house or something, you want to make sure that they can lift it. And I don't know how much it weighs. That's something you could ask Cat Power Tower, I'm sure. Okay, this is where we are so far. The, um, I just slid in the hunting platform. Um, and then you saw the scratching platform is um, just installed in between these two pedestals. Um, so impressed. I mean, while I'm putting this whole thing together, I all I can say is how impressed I am with, it's like a, it's a puzzle. It's like when you're putting together a puzzle and it slowly starts coming together and it, it's so well thought out. It's, I'm really impressed at this point. Uh, I knew I would be, but not to this extent. So I'm trying to figure out, um, how to install the, uh, scratching post and lo and behold, someone decided, wait, wait, I think that this is something that's been put together now. So I'm taking a break. I have a bit of a headache. Not from doing this, just in general. Whoa! It's a Chiggy 360! Whoa, whoa, whoa! So I found that I preferred to read the instructions and watch the video. Um, the instructions are really well laid out. The only thing that was a bit confusing was um, the upper and lower crossbars and where to put them on the pedestal. But Andy explained to me that, um, well, I'll just include that in the about section, but about it being f flush and that sort of thing. Charlie just came in and saw trig. So it, it took my mind off of it, but I'll be in sure to include that just so you can check it out. And then, um, get him on here real fast. Come here. Gosh, Bub, give up dares. Give up dares. <laughs> Bub, what's this up here? Come in. You're coming? You're coming? <laughs> I knew this would be up Triggs Alley. <laughs> hey, 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 let's be nice. Be nice. Everybody be nice. <laughs> I love cats and whacking each other. It's funny. There, um, the trap door thing that I talked about earlier, um, is actually where they can, um, I think it's where they make the uh, scratching post, the little feathers on top spin around. So that's how that works. It's funny how I can't even, this thing is so big you can't get it in a full shot. Um, I'm really impressed with the size of it. Um, you know, it's not offensive, but it's big enough for ragdolls. I mean, look at Charlie on this thing right now. You, you could have two ragdolls on one of these platforms, no problem. And, um, the height too. Um, I guess I take it back. We have tested a cat tree, but it was like, it was horrible. I ended up not doing a review on it. Um, because the distance between, and I mean, it was just uh, a POS to be honest. Um, the distance between the platforms was horrible. Um, I mean, it was made for kit ragdoll kittens, really not, um, for ragdoll cats. And then, 
uh, just the general size, Charlie and Trig couldn't um, fit their whole bodies on there. So it was uh, a hard one for me to uh, do a review on. I don't like to do a negative review. So that's something good. If you um, subscribe to our channel, uh, our YouTube channel, and you see a review, then you know that I thought it was good enough to be worthy of a review. Because most manufacturers, when I contact them and say, hey, uh, this isn't going to, I don't have much, many nice things to say, they, um, they say, you know, thank you anyway. So usually bad reviews don't make it on Floppy Cats. Hey, think, Bub, let's finish this sucker up. Yeah, so you can play? Oh, Bub, you're going to be playing? Say hi. I don't want to say hi. Okay, we're all done. Um, he's looking at those, um, feathers. The scratching post is probably, he's scared, what's he scared about? Um, the scratching post was probably the hardest part of this whole thing. Putting it, um, it's got a little adapter plug that you plug into that carpeted area and it was really hard for me to line it up. But I'm so pleased that we have it all together now. Get it, Chicky. You know you want to. Go for it, man. You got it. Go get those feathers. Tell him who's boss. Get him, Chicky. Get him. Hmm. I don't know. I know what I should do. Get him, Chicky. Get him, chicka! Get him, chicka! Get him, chicka! <laughs> I always want to uh, talk like that when they put their ears back. It's funny. Get him, chicka! I need to smell these first. Maybe I just need to smell them. I'm going to turn it off so you can smell them. Chicky, go smell them. No. Oh. Cheek! You're just deciding that you need to be smelling those. Go smell him. Oh, Charlie, shut up. Let's turn it back on. <gasps> Whoa! Intense. Charlie's like totally freaked out right now. But what's it? Go get it. What's it? What's it? Gee, okay, bub. Bub, how rocking is this this product? We don't get exciting products like this that often. Multifaceted, scratching post, bed, tower, play area thingy, all in one. Get him, Chig. Get him, Chig. I'm gonna put him on the top level. <laughs> Are you gonna scratch? Oh, you gonna scratch? I think you should get those. Get him. <laughs> Get him, chica. <laughs> Sorry, this is kind of hard to film just because it's so tall. Um, I think it might be about six feet tall because I'm 5'9". <laughs> Chiggy, is it slapping you in the face? Chigga. <laughs> well, maybe Trig isn't the smartest cat in the world. We'll just say that. <laughs> Chigga, I just like to have him slap me in the face a couple times. It's funny. All right, let's see if I can get the whole thing. So, scratching post, one platform, two platforms, and then the hunting platform. And the platforms... Um, the, this one and this one, I believe are interchangeable if need be. Um, so that's good. If you want to switch up the hunting platform. And then these are really cool too, because, um, they move around and they, they've got, so they'll fit in the holes. So if you want to do it like that or however you want works as well. A lot of people ask me about cat 
uh, towers and uh, I've never been able to recommend one because we've never um, had one before. And uh, this one I already know. I'm going to do a review on. I'm going to be recommending it because it is so freaking cool, so well put together. And um, as you can tell, Trig already likes it. I knew he would. <laughs> You see his head kind of like, oh gosh, he's so funny. Get him, Chigga! Get him, Chigga! Um, but also, I mean, it's perfect for, like, if you have an apartment and you don't have a lot of space, but you want your cats to have a scratching post, you want them to have a bed, um, be able to get up high. If you watch Jackson Galaxy's My Cat from Hell, that's important for cats, um, then this is a perfect solution. It's like an all-in-one, if you will. Get him, chica! Get him, chica! So you can have this thing um, be always on or turn it off and turn it on, but I'll cover all that in the review. Um, I'll include a link in the About section to where you can buy the Cat Power Tower online. Um, Andy has a hilarious Facebook page uh, where Pat the Cat, I think it's Pat the Cat, uh, does the Facebook postings, and man, they are hysterical. So I encourage you to um, visit their Facebook page as well. And then if there are any promos um, for Floppy Cats readers, I will include that in the About section so that you can take advantage of any discounts uh, that Andy is offering at the Cat Power Tower. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions for our review, I'd be happy to address those in the review. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And this took me about an hour to put together. So um, certainly want to plan on that, but I don't have any doubts that it will last a very long time. We'll see you next time. What do you think? What do you think? Can you get this? What's this one? What's this one? I think you like your new toy, Chickadoo. And I also wouldn't worry about the power thing. I mean, I think you could... It, this wouldn't need to necessarily rotate like it's doing. Um, but... You know, you could have it stationary and not worry about having it next to a plug if that's an issue for you.